My love for pearls leads me to the Al Fardan family, and here we have the picture of Mr. Hajj Ibrahim Al Fardan. He is a person from where the entire trading and the legacy of the family began. During my visit, I had an incredible opportunity of meeting the CEO, Mr. Hassan Fardan Al Fardan, and hear from him all about the incredible legacy of Al Fardan Group. Well, first of all, we're uh, we're very f proud and very fortunate to be carrying a, a rich legacy and, and a rich heritage. Now, obviously, as a as a merchant family, we we all have uh, have origins, you know, originating from from the natural pearl trade. Now, uh, the natural pearl trade is obviously very 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 dear to our hearts, and it's something that we would like to carry uh, for 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 the next generation. Now, uh, you know, it, it's considering sort of how how our economy has evolved. There has been ov obviously a migration from from just focusing on pearls to to dealing with international international brands, and and focusing a little bit more on on, on our, uh, our our watches and our and our, our, our various uh, jewelry brands. So, so there are certain relationships that that we've carried with us uh, for multiple generations. If you see the the picture behind me, that's our you know our great grandfather Haji Ibrahim Al Fardan. We still have relationships that we've maintained from from the times of, of uh, my, my great grandfather, God rest his soul. But we are also evolving uh, evolving new uh, new relationships. We've uh, we've recently onboarded uh, one of one of internationally recognized brands from from LVMH, Reposi. We we've onboarded some uh, some exciting brands coming in from Turkey, Terzihan, and, and there are many many more exciting exciting relationships that that we are exploring. So we, we remain true to our heritage. You know, we continue to. Uh, to, to, to cater for uh, our traditional Emirati clients, we're catering for that, that newer sort of Gen Z and Gen Y that are looking for things a little, little bit more trendy, a little bit more simple, things that they can wear much more on a daily basis. Uh, so we, we are true to our heritage, you know, we love the original business, but we're also thinking beyond that and thinking about the evolving trends of our, of our customers. Uh, I would say a classical example of, uh, of, of a natural pearl a necklace from Al Fardan jewelry. Now, um, you know, to, to the untrained eye, this is just another another pearl pearl necklace. But you know what's unique about this is every single piece is natural, and, and every single piece has been handcrafted by my, my grandfather. So you know to achieve to achieve a necklace like this, you know, with this kind of luster and, and graduation, and, and obviously the, the perfectly rounded the piece, you know, it, it could take years and sometimes sometimes even decades. So you know there are very few artisans and craftsmen in the world today that can actually produce uh, s such wonderful and unique pieces but to be able to do it uh, you know to, with such with such scale i mean this is uh, this is several several decades several generations worth of uh, of tradition and craft that's been passed on by by the various generations sure, uh, one of the things that uh, my my grandfather spoke uh, quite a bit about when when he was younger and you know we um, the country was still developing and was very much dependent on the pearl trade one of one of the virtues that I take from him is, is the importance of being patient, and, and I think you know one of the um, uh, the areas where you see, where you see that in, in abundance is within the, within the, within the natural pearl trade. So you know it's it's taken them sometimes several decades to be able to to have a, a, a fully graduated um, you know pearl necklace with with the same luster you know the the same color you know the the the, perf the perfection of, of you know the, the perfect roundness of a particular pearl. And uh, you know, a great example of this was, um, I think, 20, uh, 25 years ago, my grandfather bought uh, quite a large dana uh, in, uh, in the Northern Emirates. And uh, it, it took, him, took him 25 years you know, to be able to find, to find an exact match, and he found a similar match in, in India. Wow. So, so you know, it's, uh, you know, it, 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 it takes an incredible amount of time, and it takes a very, very unique and, and precise eye to be able to identify something. And my grandfather has, I think, a culmination of about 60,000 carats worth of, worth of pearls. For him to know, like, okay, I found this pearl 25 years apart, and it's a perfect match for this one, is something quite extraordinary. This is, uh, this is a book that was written by my grandfather, in Arabic, it's Ali al-Amr, which is the pearls of a lifetime. Now, uh, my grandfather started working with, with his father uh, when he was about five years old. So, you know, he talks a little bit about, his, about the, you know, the individual that inspired him the most, which is his father, Hassan Ibrahim al-Fardan. He taught him the, 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 the art, really, and the craft of, of dealing with, uh, with natural pearls. How to take, you know, a, uh, an irregularly shaped, uh, shaped uh, you know, stone and actually uh, simply by using a scalpel and some sandpaper and maybe some, in some cases very simple uh, chemicals to take there and turn it into this beautiful, fully, uh, you know, fully, fully clear and round, uh, round stone 
without any uh, without any impurities you know and there are very few people in the world i think that that can do this and uh, and, and there are certain techniques that he himself has only only learned from his from his father